What is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome back to Four Thousand Five. Happy Thanksgiving for those in the United States. Um, we actually have a rather interesting card to unlock this week. We do not need to worry about getting twenty points because if we do, it's going to be a Porsche we've already gotten some time ago earlier this year. This is the car we gotta get if we complete this season championship. 50 years of Porsche 911 Turbo, we get the 2023 Porsche 911 Turbo S. It goes from 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds. It already is all-wheel drive. And it is wickedly fast. When I saw the live stream before this update came out, even the developers were having a hard time breaking this car. Like, putting the brakes on it. So, we'll see what we can do with it once we get it. All we need to do is complete this seasonal championship by one of two ways. Either A, win all three races, or B, have the most amount of points by the end of the championship. Now, a couple of things that we should go over before we begin unlocking this car. Number one, this is the last vehicle for this current update. Number two, whether it be tomorrow or whether it be Monday, whatever the case may be, it ain't coming out to me. Forza's YouTube and Twitch channel will not, I repeat, will not be live this time. As they've stated, they will not be live for the Horizon Holiday mix-up. For whatever insane reason, I do not know. So therefore, we're going to have to heavily rely on the Forza.net website. For the update coming next Thursday. Which includes this. Stadium decorations, because it went to holiday. A showcase remix. New cars. And new clothing. What? What? that is going to be I have no idea I really don't know but we will find out when the time comes which is exactly seven days the update will be available for us to download and install possibly Tuesday it will not be playable until Thursday which is going to be December 5th okay that being out the way Welcome back, Pingas! <laughs> I'm still in the vibe of the retro update. Shut up! Anyway, so as I have written in the community tab, I have not really done any uploads in the last six days. Until today. Number one, busy at work. Number two, busy IRL with things around the house and other places I will not disclose. And finally, number three, having the ideas, knowing what to do with them, just not, you know, I wasn't sure how to execute them. So I apologize. Even though I had everything laid on the table, I was not 100% certain how to execute the ideas. Even though, here's the thing, I had a couple of videos readily available to record. To upload all that garbage. <sighs> Things just crashed. I apologize. So I figured, you know what? Screw it. I'll wait for this to be readily available somehow on the how. Big surprise. Hi. I'm getting a tiny window of opportunity. To do this on a Thursday, particularly Thanksgiving Day, because 100% of the time I'm with family all day long. So, this small window is going to close pretty soon. So, the faster we get this up there, the faster we get this unlocked, the faster it's uploaded, y'all can see it early. Okay? Okay. Let's see what we need to worry about with. This particular Porsche. 
and what exactly are our requirements. S1900, Porsche 911 of any kind. I don't care what year, it just seems to be a Porsche 911 stock and S1900. Heck, it could be the ones we've already gotten. They are both Porsche 911s. One's a GT3 RS from the first week. Last week is the GT3 R, which I'm in currently. So, there's a strong chance I can just skip having to get a car, jump right into this, knock it out, we good. Let's see if that actually can be a thing. Because you can clearly see up there on top of the screen, Porsche 911. It fits. Let's see if it works. Let's just get out of here, jump to where we need to be, and all the good garbage. Okay? Okay. I'll do that stuff later. Wheel spin, all that stuff. I will handle it during my downtime later. I just want to get to the track and get this out the way. World map. Jump into it. Yes, please. Let's just go where you need to be. Yes, please. Fast travel. See. I would love to. We're going to start at what looks like Reservoir Sprint. Yes. Let's just get into it. Highly skilled, of course. One, two, three. All within a close vicinity. <gasps> Perfect. And yes, we can use it. <gasps> we also have the one from the first week. <gasps> we also have the 911 Rally E we can use. It is not Rally, it is Road. So this from the first week and this from last week we can use. <gasps> Jump right into it. And yes, I'm using this guy for the championship. This for the test run of the car later. Let's jump right in. Race number one of three. Let's go in three, two, one, and rock and roll. All right, just so you guys are aware, I probably won't say much during the races because of one, focus, two, concentration, and three, Actually, that's really it. So, just bear with me, people. I will get there when I get there. If I can speed run these guys, that'd be very much nice. If there's gonna be any volume at all, it's going to be the sound of the race. Nothing else, because obvious reasons. Might be the car there, I'm not sure, but we'll find out later. And also, just a friendly reminder, before we get to the finish line of this first race, there will be jump cuts between races, so I can save at least a little time if all possible. Going from race to race, you know, after we see the finish first, whatever, I'll just jump right to the next one. So that's gonna save you guys time and everything else. It'll save me time when I edit this after the video has been recorded. Then we get right to the next one and we should be good. Think of this as a quote unquote live stream when it isn't really a live stream. This is just me doing all the races in their entirety without having to go live. All right? This way you know what I'm doing and we good. One of three complete. Time cut right here. I'd usually say you go faster when you can keep all four wheels in the dark. What? But with the amount of air you're getting, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I thought I'd add that first because I had no idea the guy was going to talk. Yes, Alex, I do go fast. On my regular days. <laughs> Race number two. Three, two, one. Go!
bad, not bad at all. Time cut here. Final race in three, two, one, go! Drift. See ya. Lap two. Slow down there, buddy. Much better. Ow. Eh. much? Yeah. Ooh, slow down there, buddy. Don't want you hitting the walls, bro. Oh, my, my, uh, clean racing skills did, uh, they did get reset. Dang it. Oh, well. That's right. The car is ours. There you go. 2023 Porsche 911 Turbo S. 641 horsepower. S1857. All wheel drive. Weight 3,450 pounds. <sighs> Perfect. Okay. So. That is going to do it for what it should have said was part one of this video. Second part is where we tune it and then take it for a drive with this guy. So at least I got the unlocking part done. I at least wanted to do that. I should mention that in the beginning. Yes, I did say I wanted to tune it, but I'm like, you know what? The more I thought about it, I'm like, nah. I'm just going to go ahead and unlock it. Tomorrow's video is going to be the second part where we do go in there to tune it we do take it for a drive with this. And 9 times out of 10, we put it through a couple races or, or whatever the case may be. So, I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys had a great time. Hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. For those in the US, obviously. And I will see y'all tomorrow when we get this car out. We go ahead and tune it. We go ahead and drive it with this wheel and other fun stuff to come in that particular video as well. I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys stay safe. 
You guys stay awesome. Y'all have a safe holiday. I will see y'all later. Have a safe one. Bye.